Hi, I'm George with the City of Yonkers. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your water meter to determine whether or not you have a leak in your house. The first thing you want to do is find out where the meter is located. Now in most cases in Yonkers, the meter is going to be located in the basement. So that's the first thing I'll do right now is turn all the water from the hose bibs and the sprinkler system and make sure they're shut off. So now that we've turned everything off outside the house, let's go inside the basement. Let's look at the different components of the water meter and also where the water comes into the basement. In this case, this is where it comes in, very close to the floor in the basement in the front. Now that we're in the house, let's take a look at all the different components of the water meter. Notice the face of the meter. There's an odometer style readout right here, and then there's another numbered readout. These are the numbers that are sent to the city on an hourly basis. There's also a number on top, which is the meter number itself. So if anyone from the city asks for your meter number, you know where that meter number is. Notice the antenna. This is an MTU, it's called, meter transmission unit. And this is the shutoff valve. There's a shutoff valve after the meter and a shutoff valve before the meter. Not every house has the same setup. Some might only have one shutoff valve. You can also see the leak indicator. This indicator is in the shape of a red triangle. If the triangle is turning, that means the water is running through your meter. So we're at the point where we can shut off the valve and the main shutoff valve we can find in a variety of places. In this case, we showed you it's in the front of the meter and in back of the meter. We'll shut the one that comes directly from outside of the house. At this point, let's shut off all the appliances that use water in the house. The faucets, the showers, the sprinkler systems, the dishwasher and the clothes washer. Now that we've turned off the main valve, let's take another look at the leak indicator. So if that red triangle is still moving, that means you do have a leak in your house. Now you're at the point where you have to do a process of elimination by shutting off one valve at a time to see if the leak indicator is still running. If the leak indicator stops moving, that means you are good and you don't have a leak. Now that we've gone over all the scenarios on how to detect the leak, this should certainly help you in the future when you have any kind of question about any leaks. Thank you.